Okay, hello for here, how are you? Well, today Thursday, the 11th of um, June, yes? Yes, today we are going to analyze the mistakes from the revision. We are going to work on pages 78 and 79 from the classbook video watch. I'm going to send you two uh, videos. One is the complete video and the other is the video that you need, you will need for doing activities, uh, for doing activity eight, yes, okay? It's a kind of multiple choice, okay? Good. And then, and then, we are going to uh, work, you are going to uh, record at home, yes, a video talking about a strange encounter you had when you were a child. If you haven't had one, I want you to invent a very mysterious one, okay? All right? <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, and then, okay, um, I, another thing I want to, uh, I want you to know is that I have already sent you the correction of the brainstorming, yes? From the brainstorming, yes, uh, the merchant of Venice, yes? Well done, yes, okay? And the, the brainstorming, yes? Okay, the corrections there are. Yes, okay, and the correction of the brainstorming and of the three minutes video too, yes, it is all there, so I want you to check, yes, okay, everything, yeah, so it's done, well done, good, so can we start, okay, so um, I will show uh, the your Tiago, yes, okay. Uh, Paula, you have to, you have the comments there. You have some elementary mistake, Tiago. Remember, <clears throat> we have the modal verbs in the present. Yes, I have to study. I must wear a uniform. I don't have to go to your house today. Yes, okay. I don't need to study. Yes, okay. So this is in the present. But when you want, to, when you want to use the modal verbs in the past. Yes, okay, remember, you need to put the modal verb, have, plus the third column of the past participle, yes? For example, I didn't pass my exam, I should have studied more, yes, okay, is it clear? Debía haber estudiado, entonces eso es lo que tenés que tener en cuenta <coughs> en este ejercicio, no, yes, but in the next Yes, okay. Do you think they might be getting the same? Yes, okay. I'm convinced calling story is absolutely, absolutely true. It can't be a hoax. Yes, okay. Good. Um, this is done. Well done. Here, darling. She mustn't be sleeping. I spoke to her on the phone. Yes. She can't be sleeping, yes, okay? No puede estar durmiendo, recién hablé con ella, yes, okay? I think it was not because you didn't know, but because uh, you misunderstood the sentence. First of all, remember you have to read the sentence, understand, and then choose. You'd better hurry, you must be late if you don't leave immediately. You might be late, puede que llegue si no te va, yes, ya, okay? Here. Yes, we all, uh, we, are, we all these experts involved, it must be impossible to solve this mystery. It, it can't be impossible, yes? Okay, <coughs> there you have all right, and this was the problem. Acá Tiago, rehacelo por favor, yes? Okay, he could, he was lucky, you know, uh, he didn't something. He could have lost, yes? All right, the statues might have had, yes, can't have been. El, el, la lección del modal ver, del modal ver, estuvo bien. El tema es que lo tenías que haber puesto en pasado, ¿sí? ¿Se entiende, Tiago? Yes, and the rest is okay. Yes, the rest is okay. Yes, okay. Good. Well, um, as, regard the, as regards the... Um, 
the compositions Thiago crashed into a band, I think it was. The man um, ah, irresponsible, irresponsible, yes, the spelling there. Uh, then we have, there is another one. Ah, yes, elementary in the yes, because I put 50 years, okay. Because when I correct, I want to hunt everything on time, yes, because you know, I'm recording in the morning, so it must be earlier, yes, I don't have time until the afternoon, okay, for talking about the mistakes, yes, okay, so, what about the ages, Tiago? You use have got, have, or the verb to be with the ages? The verb to be, yes, the man is 50 years old, or the man was 50 years old, okay? I think it was is because uh, he is alive, yes? Muy bien los textos, yes? The news report. Me encantó estos que escribieron, porque por ahí algunos son muy largos, tienen mucha información de, yes? Remember to invent. Yes, you can read about many things to fill your mind with information, yes? Okay, but then I want you to write your own one, yes? Your own, yes? Okay. Paula, and then you have uh, sinister. Vos quisiste poner siniestro, ¿no? Pero ahí está sinister, la palabra. Entonces, this sinister uh, sin podrías haber, haber puesto, yes? Okay? Acorda Remember that sin, y, um, sinister is uh, an adjective there. Okay? ¿Me, ¿Me explico? Yes. Good. Well, <coughs> so let's go to uh, pages. I want you to put today. Is it clear? In case you have any question write to me, yes, a message, yes, okay, good, well, so uh, 78 and 79, put the date, yes, we're going to talk a bit about uh, these things, yes, uh, it's a very, very interesting, um, In August of 1997, I was sitting there. In August. Okay, I will prepare this, but first of all, we are going to do uh, the talking, yes? Okay. <coughs> I will bring some water. Yes, okay, we are going to talk about encounters, monsters and everything, yes, okay. Yes, <coughs> sorry, good, okay, so how much do you know about these monsters, yes, okay, uh, Frankenstein, yes, Frankenstein, uh, the long net, net uh, monster, Godzilla, Shrek, and Bigfoot. How much do you know? Do you know them? Have you ever read the story of Frankenstein? Yes, I really love him. Yes, I really love, like um, the story. You know, the writer is um, the famous Mary Shelley. Yes, but I like Frankenstein. Uh, for me, he was a very nice, a cute monster. Yes, okay, but what do you think about the idea of building uh, a monster with different parts? But do you know, uh, would you be able to do that? Yes, and then what about the feelings, his feelings? Yes, okay, well, you know him, yes, Frankenstein. Yes, okay, uh, Victor Frankenstein is a young scientist who creates a monster in Frankenstein. Yes, okay. Well, uh, maybe you have seen the film, you have read the book, yes, okay, it's very, very interesting, yes, um, well, uh, da, 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 da. well, in the film, the monster is often shown as huge, tall, and slow moving, yes, well, the long neck monster, uh, have you ever seen documentaries about this, yes, okay, well, this is uh, in Scotland, yes, Many people said, many people uh, said that they have really seen, yes, the monster there. So I think it must be not a legend, 
it must be something there because it is very a deep a very deep 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 place yes like the same the monster of the laguna huelva p yes okay i don't remember its name specifically uh but there is another legend that there uh, a monster exists there yes okay lives there Okay, then we have, um, well, Godzilla, I have seen the film, yes, it is another monster, it's like a, a T-Rex, maybe, yes, okay, and then we have Shrek, this is my fate, well, I don't know if I can choose, I can choose uh, between uh, Frankenstein and Shrek, but I love both of them, and you know, Shrek is uh, Fiona's boyfriend, he's, um, he's, uh, uh, a green friendly ogre yes okay yes and well he lives there in the forest yes okay and then he falls in love with the famous Fiona and then they have children and everything and he has a friend yeah two friends the donkey and the uh, the cats in boots boots in cats in boots <laughs> okay well all right well, and I think Antonio Bandera does the, the, the voice, yes, of the cat. I'm not sure, yes, okay? But, um, well, you know, it is a, a comedy and the voice of Shrek uh, is done by uh, Mike Myers, yes? Okay, eso sí lo tengo apuntado, okay? And then you have Bigfoot. Yes, that is a big, big monster that is in the mountain. Yes, okay. It's a creature, yes, that is in the forest over there in uh, in the Pacific Northwest of the United States. Yes, okay. Well, we have all monsters, but have you ever have you ever had a close encounter with something strange? I haven't. Yes, thanks God. Yes. But I want you to think about it, yes? And I, I will be very, very anxious waiting for your videos about the, your close encounter, yes? Okay, do you believe in, this, in these things, in these uh, legends, yes? So, this, um, this video, yes, is going to be about, about these things, about encounters, yes? And you are going to listen to many people who witnesses, uh, who were witnesses, yes of these cases okay and um, you know it's very interesting to listen to them okay so we are going to do exercises highlight this 2a 2b 4 yes and these exercises you have to do with this video with six and um, exercise eight you will do exercise a exercise eight and you will need six point uh, 6.2 is it clear for exercise a you will need six video 6.2 yes i will send it and they have um they have the numbers okay but you have the number here next to that the exercise the letter of the exercise all right so um you know i'm going to put i'm going to uh, play it yes and then i'm going to dictate the answers but of course you will have to uh, stop the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. The answers, because it's not, if not, it's useless. It would be useless. Just 1997, I was sitting there, just looking out over the water. And the water gets what absolutely dead flat, calm, even calmer than it is now. All of a sudden, these three or four pumps came up and then they went down and then they were up and then they were down that pump you know something was up came up and came down yes from the water you know he saw it my attention then i saw it two or three hundred yards up toward the green boy there that's what really you know the green boy there are yes you know la boja yes okay is it clear it made me wonder what it was because of the speed from going from that point to that point and it was gone seven years later only seven miles away 
another unlikely monster spotter was on our sun deck. It happened. I would say anywhere between 20 and 30 feet behind the Mori boy. That's when I first saw it. It went right across my view, and then all of a sudden it went down. But there was nothing else out here, and it left this massive wake. I knew I wasn't dreaming when I saw the wake. It took up the total view that we can see from um, our deck. No, this is the deck. Yes, and she saw it's very near from the deck. A few miles east and 20 years before, another encounter. And this time at point blank range. It was March. And it was a nice clear day, so I came out here with a friend visiting. As we were going out, there were two hummers in the water. And so Hops. I headed yes. off. Camels. Camels. Yes, camels have humps. Yes, Cordovas, yes, well done. Towards it, and it submerged. I judged roughly where it had disappeared, turned the motor off, and let it coast towards it. And while we were still while we were moving, it came up again. Two humps in the water, like tractor tires. I mean, we could have touched the thing if we were so close. Three upstanding citizens, three remarkable stories. But are there more plausible explanations before we cry sea monster? All right. Oh my God. He, the last one was very near and he said, I could, I could, this is for you, Yago, yeah, I could have touch them. Yes? Is it clear? Okay. Pude haberlo tocado because I was very near. That is the use of the moral verb in the past. Okay? All right. Good. So let's go to the answers. Yes? All right. I will dictate the answers. Okay? And you will pause the video and then listen to the answers. Okay? You will see your videos first, the two videos. Okay? And this is the other one I will send you, send it to you. Yes, all right. I will show you for you to know. This is 6.2, and you need all this of a one. Three or four humps came. Yes, for doing exercise eight, okay? All of a sudden, these three or four humps came up, and then they went down, and then they were up, and then they were down. All of a sudden, three or four hands came up. What does all of a sudden mean? At the same time, slowly and quiet, or very quickly with no warning, okay? So you have to choose A, B, or C, okay? Good, well, so you will do it at home. Is it clear? All of a sudden, these three or four humps came up, and then they went. All right, yes, good. So I will go to the answers now. Yes, what could you, uh, what you, ha what could you have done? What could you have done if something, if something like this episode, good, um, uh, if something like this episode had happened to you? Yes, what would you have done? Yes, if this, the same thing had happened to you? Yes, I don't know. Yes, oh my God, I, I don't want uh, to think about that, yes? I'm very really afraid about all these things, um, close encounter, that I am very interested, for example, in uh, UFOs, yes, spaceships and everything, yes? Okay, um, when I was your age or, and more, I used to uh, watch Expedientes X, and there was a... Uh, um, 
there were two uh, agents that investigate uh, cases. Yes, if you Google, you can see them. Yes, okay. And they investigate cases. One was Scully, yes, and Mulder. Yes, okay. Mulder was a detective. Yes, he's a very famous actor. I don't remember his name. Yes, okay. And uh, the other was Scully. Yes, and you know, she believes in everything, in all these uh, supernatural things, supernatural stuff. And he was, um, he didn't care about this. He only wanted to investigate. Yes, okay. And um, he didn't believe in anything. Yes, but they were uh, very close. Yeah, what well, they call it. They are, uh, they were, I don't know how many, um, how many seasons, but I think only in the last chapter, they kiss each other. They had a baby that had supernatural things, or I don't know what happened to him, or I don't know. I don't remember if the um, UFOs took him, or I don't know. Well, you know, X5, it's called X5, yes, okay. The truth is out there, yes. There are some t-shirts about this um, um, Syria, yes, okay. And when you know, <clears throat> all the girls, yes, wanted him to kiss her, yes. But I think, in, I don't know if it was in the last episode, it was a very short kiss, yes. Or I don't know if it was in the film that they made, yes, okay. But, oh my God. This, this was just, by the way, but <coughs> they investigate uh, cases like this, yes? Close encounters, yes? Not only with monster, but with everything, all supernatural things, yes? Uh, X5, expediente seguir. Okay, well, so let's go. I will go uh, right to this, okay? <coughs> I will give you the answers, okay? Two, I'm sorry. Boy, eyewitnesses, hump. Moto, submerge, submerge, and wake. Yes, okay, good. So let's go to exercise four. All three eyewitnesses saw the monster on different days. Yes, number two, only one eyewitness, one eyewitnesses saw three or more hands. All the eyewitnesses were different places, were in different places. For only two eyewitnesses were alone at the time. Yes, okay, and then exercise eight. 1C, 2B, 3C, 4A, and 5C. Yes, and I will give you examples, uh, example answers. Yes, okay, I was on my way to class one once. When all of a sudden, yes, uh, it started to rain, I fell over, yes. Number two, sometimes when I watch TV, I wonder what is happening to the world, whether uh, there is anything better to do. Number three, I spent everywhere between 10 and 12, yes, one to um, 13 to 82 hours studying English each week. Okay, and number four, uh, well, you have a new story about ta 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 caught my attention last week. So, the, and I want you to highlight the words there. Yes, you have tractor, yes. Sand deck, yes. El muelle, a flat wooden area in the garden. In the garden, yes, okay. A sand deck, yes. And then the, um, they have the, no, no muelle, deck is the muelle. But sand deck is the place Deck, se le llama. Mira que ahora voy a poner un deck. Yes, and it's made of goods, and then you put your plants, your things there, some uh, chairs, some garden chairs for sitting there. Yes, okay. And a table, yes, for drinking tea with your friends, okay. Uh, then you have remarkable and plausible. Yes, plausible. Believable, likely. Okay, well, so this is the thing you have to talk about. I haven't had any encounter. Any strange encounter? Yes, uh, when, when I was a child, until now, yes, okay? Um, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to have one at all, yes? So I will wait for you video, three minutes video, and I hope that you can tell me a very interesting and mysterious encounter you have had.
hat, okay? Okay, or you had, all right? Happy weekend. You are working um, very well, okay? I'm very proud of you. Miss you, I miss you. Yes, and I wait for you next class. Happy weekend. See you.